I'm sitting here with uh, Bernard and Ariani from the Sahaya Sawa Resort, and uh, I have a couple of questions for you. First of all, could you introduce yourself? Yes, do. Yes, do. Yeah, so I'm Ariani. I'm the director of Sahaya Sawa Resort. Yeah, I'm Bernard. I'm uh, the, the main donator of, well, the donator of the foundation. So, what is the goal of the foundation? Uh, to help the nine villages uh, surrounding us. One of the major things what we do is water filters, so people have portable water. Uh, we bought already an ambulance. Uh, we make people out of fishing to survive themselves with buying them cows or buying them pigs. It's and more for uh, uh, to sustainable for the people so they can continue. What does the resort have uh, to do in relation with the foundation? Well, uh, the resort it's it's uh, like also part of the foundation because uh, all the profits from the resort is going to the foundation, and the resort is giving facilities to the foundation to use. Like for example, we giving the office for that uh, the foundation to use, and uh, some of mm -hmm. our staff uh, also are part of the foundation members. All of the guests who are staying in the resort, it's also actually already involved. Yeah. Uh, in the foundation by staying with us, so they also already giving and helping the foundation by staying. We, we also help mm -hmm. people sometimes in uh, uh, when they have had an operation and their houses is too fil filthy or too dirty to stay in the houses after the operation. They can stay here. Yeah. Uh, we're giving practice in the, uh, our spa to people who want to learn to be a massage uh, person so they can earn uh, an income in the future. So what are the obstacles that you face when trying to help the communities in Bali? Well, the major obstacle, well, <laughs> one of the major obstacles is that uh, uh, Europe and America, the idea what they have from Bali is they see Bali five-star hotels, mm -hmm. white beaches, luxury life, yeah. uh, but it's not the truth. Uh, Bali is very poor. Uh, the luxury hotels, uh, they are mainly earned, uh, owned by foreign big companies or by uh, very rich Balinese or Japanese, and they don't share with yeah. the community at all. Uh, they give the minimum wages. Uh, it's already proved that all the, the main uh, hotel chains where they most earn money is in Asia because of land is cheap and labor is cheap yeah. and there make their, they make their biggest benefits. Yeah. So, and of course, the people think about Bali, five star, white beach. So then to obtain people to donate, it's mm -hmm. quite difficult to, to, yeah. uh, to see it, that they see it. Yeah, they have a different perception from yeah. all the tourism that comes yeah. here. Well, the Generally, reality there are still many more poor people in yeah. Bali that people still don't know. No. Yeah. The reality is help. completely different. Yeah. What does the foundation do different here in Bali than, for example, other organizations around the world? We don't give money. Uh, we are totally against giving money because uh, money disappeared in different pockets. Uh, we do uh, the things ourselves, uh, we help the people to how to survive themselves. Uh, we, for example, we built a bridge, a third party, uh, we went there and they told us, give us 100,000 uh, euros, of, uh, yeah, 100,000 uh, dollars to make the bridge. Mm -hmm. And we said, no, thank you. Uh, we did an agreement with the two villages on each side of the, uh, the river. Uh, that they built the bridge and we gave the materials. And <laughs> we spent $12,000. So we saved $88,000 that we can use for much better things. So, yeah. And like this with all the things, we uh, are really on the control that 100% is coming to the people and nobody fills his pocket in, in no way. This is, uh, uh, so that's why we keep it close uh, around us and slowly, slowly, uh, getting wider spread of a uh, bigger area that we want to help, but we definitely want to keep it under control ourselves. Yeah. So it's like our policy that we don't give money, mm -hmm. we give the materials, whatever they need. And also, for example, if we have to build something, we involve the locals 
to do and to do the, yeah. the job well. So they feel that it's theirs as well. Yeah. I, I, I build that place yeah. also. And they, they learn to appreciate yeah. it as well, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not like something you put there yes. and then exactly. you leave and they think, yeah. oh, okay. You, yeah. They teach, yeah. you know, they learn how to build it, also how to fix it if something is broken, perhaps, and yeah. how to work with it. What are some big projects that you're working on uh, or that you need more help with? Yeah, well, we now we're building a school. Uh, coming back to the locals, we have asked them to give us two bamboo sticks per family, mm -hmm. uh, as the school would be wood and bamboo, so uh, they're going to feel it's theirs. Uh, the school is, uh, uh, the finance is the, about 60% what we've had, so we could have more use of uh, to build the school bigger and better. Uh, of course, we need later teachers uh, to teach children. That's a monthly cost, so that would be nice to have people who want to help with funding a cheap teacher. Mm -hmm. Or oh, we have many more projects. Uh, we want to buy a garbage truck. Uh, we're already picking up the garbage from the local villages, but it's in a very small truck. We need a bigger truck. Uh, and, uh, ah, yeah. One more big project yeah. that we're doing at the moment is also we, we're rebuilding or renovate the house from the locals, that could be... Yeah, they are in very bad conditions. Yeah. Yeah. And then septic tanks, doing septic tanks. Because some locals still don't have bathroom or toilet, so they still taking bath in the river, so we'd like to, yeah. little by little, try to rebuild their house. Makes their yeah. life easier. And also because the weather in Bali is, like, uh, you know, wet, and, yeah. and the house get uh, dumb and mud, so... Some yeah, of yeah. the kids, small baby, get, get sick from asthma, mm. so we try yeah. to... Yeah, asthma is quite high here, yeah. because of the... the humidity. 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 Yeah. And water filters. We still also do water filters that people have drinkable, drinkable water. Because the water is here not drinkable. And yeah. Some of the people have to go to the river, pick up water. And the river is quite dirty, as you have seen. <laughs> and uh, then cook it and maybe keep it for three days. That the dirt sinks and then they can drink it. So we're doing water filters to help them. There are still many people that don't have clean water yet in yeah. Bali. So we just did a uh, summer family. So mm -hmm. we did a pipe to the house so they can have a uh, tap water before yeah. they used to take water in the river. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the tap water, they still need to... Do it with the water filter. Yeah. yeah, with the water filter, yeah. Yes. Normally, uh, with the tap water, we have to cook and boil it first mm -hmm. before we can drink it, but now as we giving the water filter, so it's less work for them and easier for them, so they can just drink it. Yeah. Straight away. Yeah, and that's actually something that also the guests and the people around the world can yeah. help yeah. give a family or families yeah. fresh water or yeah, we drinkable put, water. On the on the water filter, we put the sticker of the donator's name mm -hmm. and country. Yeah. So yeah. it's something that we can see, and yeah. they will receive a photo from the family who have received the water filter. That's nice. Yeah. So, what is very important to you when it comes to helping the communities here? Well, uh, we're not giving money, like I told before. We help them to how to survive. Uh, what is better, to give a fishing rod or to give a fish? Mm -hmm. uh, we've bought already fishing boats, cows, uh, pigs, and with these they can how to survive themselves. We have, for example, a blind man. Of course, he cannot have cows and pigs because he's blind. Uh, and what we have done is, in our spa, uh, we took a teacher. We pay for the teacher. Uh, He's and learning how to do traditional massage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and once he is finished with the, the teaching, we will install the massage beds, towels, and everything, and, and a sign on the road that they can do a massage at his house. Uh, but now he's in our spa teaching, uh, learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my final question How can people help uh, when they're in Bali or even if they're not in Bali? Well, we, we have our foundation website, so if any people want to help or donate, please feel free to, to check on our foundation website and feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Yeah, we guarantee you that 100% of your money will come to the people. Nobody will profit from it. Yeah. Uh, our, all our foundation people have no salaries. It's all by free will what we do uh, without getting paid for it. Yeah. So on the website, we have all our uh, programs from the foundation and we keep everything updates on the, on the website. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking with me and I hope a lot of people can 
support the foundation and learn more about what you're doing here because it's uh, the real Bali that needs the help, not you know the touristic part. <laughs> we hope we can do much more in the future. Yeah, this is our dream. Yeah, it's a nice dream. <laughs> Thank you. Om, om Santi 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 Om. Om Santi 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 Om.